Morning, How To Heaven viewers. So, uh, here to do another video. And today we're working on a 2003 Toyota Tundra. And that's my phone. I'll be back. That took a while. Okay, so here's what we're working on. 2003 Toyota Tundra, uh, and it's the access cab, and that piece, uh, let's see if I can do this right. Right there, that little latch, that's broken. So, let's take a quick close-up look and see what it is that I'm talking about. So, Here's your latch for your back window. And the way this works is you just basically, you can lock it or unlock it with this lever. But here's what happens. See that link there? Oops, it's broken. So today I'm gonna to be replacing the link. Now, these break all the time. And uh, as a matter of fact, both the driver and passenger side are broken on this vehicle. You can lock it, it still works well, but once you unlock it, this thing is, prone to just pop right out and so it flaps. I'm going to replace this link which, which is going to require, uh, you can do it on the car. I chose to do it off the car because I'm doing a bunch of upgrades. I've replaced my speakers here and so 10 millimeter and a Phillips and that way when I pound this out, this pin here and this pin here and put the new link in, it uh, it's there's no risk of breaking the glass or anything else. So here's the kit. I ordered this off of eBay and it came with uh, two machined aluminum links. Looks just like the other one except they're aluminum. And then this pin here. And it only came with one pin because this is actually an installation tool. So let's get to it. So we're going to start by removing the two 10 millimeter bolts here. That's that, and since this link is disconnected, there's one piece. Then we're gonna take our Phillips screwdriver and remove this, and that's basically all there is to removal. Here we go. And you can see that uh, this is where the other piece is. Now, there is a button right there on the back side. And that button just kind of gets held right in there like that. When you tighten the screw up, then it's a, a pressure fit in between the, the glass and this piece right here. And you can see this little square cutout, and it matches the button. So the button doesn't turn. It goes in like that, and then that locks this from turning when you tighten the screw. And that's all there is to that. So we're going to remove this piece right here, this roll pin, and to the bench. Well, let's see what we've got here. So, this is the bracket that mounts to the frame, this mounts to the window, and uh, here's our parts, and I got a piece of wood with some holes drilled in it, and a ball pin hammer. So, let's check this out, see what we got. First off, you'll notice that everything is oriented a certain way. And um, the two links, however, are completely 100% identical. Mm -hmm. They can be used on the left side or the right side. So what we're gonna do is, you'll notice how this bracket is flat. This is how it goes, just like that. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drive out this pin here and we're gonna use the tool that they gave us. And so you're gonna to have to probably turn the volume down a little bit because I'm gonna pound on this. Thank you. 
Here we go. So we're going to start with this one is labeled L and this one is labeled R. So that stands for, L stands for driver side and R stands for passenger side. If that makes any sense. There's also a dent right there that coincides with this like that. So that's step one. Okay, take 10. So here we have it. The link pin has been replaced. This goes in like this and the proper orientation for the link pin is when it's fully extended. You see how that's concave right there? And there's a little nub, a sharp piece right there on the link that goes towards the outside. So we're gonna start off by putting the screw in and remember, you have to hold it on the back side and that it is keyed. So you'll just barely start it. Make sure that that square part goes into the indentation. Then we're going to line this up and test fit it. Make sure this thing is lined up and it's lined up perfectly. So now we will tighten this all the way. Insert our two 10 millimeter bolts get those tightened down and that should do it. So once again, just to review, the link is concave with that little sharp piece on one of the links. The link is kidney shaped, so that sharp piece goes on the outside. This smooth round piece goes on the inside. So let's just go ahead and verify the proper operation to make sure that it is in fact going to work. So, let me see if I can get a focus there. Sorry about the focus. All right, closed, latched, opened, locked. And there you have it. That's how you do it. All right, so here is the proper orientation. And as you can see, this is concave as towards us. And that is how it works. You push it out, it sticks, and you bring it in. It's really tight too. And then that's how it locks. So if you want, you can spray some silicon or lithium grease to kind of loosen it up. But that's the install. So here's what you don't want to do. Here's the handle. This goes in, the bracket goes just like that. This little indentation follows that indentation to 10 millimeters. Lo and behold, I've got it backwards. Got to drop this pin out, rotate this 180 and pound it back in. Oops, don't do what I did. So if you put this link this kidney shaped link pin in so that it's convex instead of concave. The difference is it still operates, locks and it opens, but the difference is about three eighths of an inch. So this handle here sticks out from this rubber about three eighths of an inch towards the inside of the car, but it does operate. So if you put it in backwards, it's still gonna work whether or not it's proper, I don't know. There you have it. Thanks for watching How To Heaven.